Hello lovely people! It's been a while since I've cooked some soup, so let's make one today. I'm going to show you how to cook a loaded kale soup that can easily replace the main dish. To make it a bit special, I'm using smoked pork ribs that give this soup a nice smoky flavor. Let's start by boiling the pork ribs. We need the meat to become tender, so it's easy to take off the bones and at the same time we're making a smoky stack that will come to good use later on. Drop in 3 bay leaves and a few allspice corns to get some extra flavors into the stack and boil for about 30 minutes. Once the ribs are cooked, take them out of the pot and let cool down. By the way, don't worry if you can't get smoked ribs. You can use basically any cut of smoked pork. Now heat up some olive or vegetable oil in a large pot and add two finely chopped onions. Saute on high until translucent. Next come four or five sliced garlic cloves. Saute for two more minutes and then add one large sliced sausage. Saute for three more minutes and go on with two heaping tablespoons of tomato puree. The base is almost ready, we just need some more spices in it. Add one teaspoon of crushed caraway seeds, two tablespoons of red paprika and finish it up with two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Saute for two more minutes while mixing frequently. It's time to use the stack we made a while ago. Remove the bay leaves and allspice corns, if you haven't already, and pour all of it into the pot. Mix quickly to deglaze the bottom of the pot. Add two chopped carrots and of course the main star of the show, finely sliced kale. The amount of kale needed depends on what type you can find in the store. If they sell just leaves, go for one bunch. If they sell the whole head, take one of them. To put it simply, we need about 1 pound or 500 grams of kale leaves without the tough stems which need to be removed. Add 1 teaspoon of Italian herbs, mix properly and bring to a simmer with the lid on. The ribs should be cool enough to handle by now, so take the meat off the bones. It should go easily, simply by using your hands. And finally, cut the meat into small chunks with a knife. The soup has been simmering for a few minutes, so the kale has lost some volume already and we can move on. Add about 1 pound of diced potatoes and all of the smoked meat we have prepared. There is some space left in the pot, so let's fill it with water or extra stack if you haven't used all of it yet. Season the soup with black pepper, we need about half a teaspoon. Mix properly, put the lid back on and simmer on low for 30 minutes or until the potatoes are fully cooked. Once the potatoes are tender, it's time to check the flavor of our soup. We haven't used salt yet, that's because smoked pork grips are always very salty so we needed to wait until the end. I had to add about half a teaspoon, but definitely go by your own taste here. I'm using one last ingredient to give the soup a nice fragrant touch. It's dried marjoram and I'm adding a full teaspoon. Simmer for 2 or 3 more minutes and our kale soup is finished. And there we have it. Loaded kale soup that will warm both your body and soul, just like any good soup. If you like this video, Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next week!